Red Bull Racing's Max Verstappen just completed the most dominant season in Formula One history, claiming a record 19 race victories, in 22 races, and sewing up the driver's title back on October 7. No surprise, then, that he's the series' financial champion as well, with an estimated $70 million in salary and bonus this year to lead all F1 drivers. The 26-year-old Verstappen captures the top spot for the second straight season, ahead of Mercedes Lewis Hamilton, who made an estimated $55 million on the track in 2023 and has spent a decade as the series' highest paid star in Forbes's annual athletes' earnings ranking. In all, the 10 highest paid drivers in F1 collected an estimated $258 million in 2023 before taxes, a slight dip from 2022's $264 million. Unlike Forbes's earnings lists for, say, soccer or the NBA, the F1 ranking excludes income from business endeavors such as endorsements, focusing solely on the sport's salaries and bonuses. Because drivers are generally required to make appearances on behalf of their team and the team's partners, most of them spend little effort seeking out personal sponsorships. Only a handful are believed to rake in more than $1 million annually, with Hamilton's income off the track pegged at $10 million and Verstappen's at $4 million for Forbes's 2023 list of the world's highest paid athletes. Still, despite the lack of endorsement deals, Formula One drivers are bona fide global stars, and increasingly relevant in the United States, where the Netflix docuseries Drive to Survive has attracted a passionate fan base. With the new interest, and an influx of new sponsors, Forbes estimated in July that the 10 Formula One teams would average $380 million in revenue this year up from $220 million in 2018. At the same time, a cost cap introduced in 2021 restricts team spending in key areas, to less than $140 million in 2023, with the goal of creating greater parity between powerhouses like Ferrari, Mercedes and Red Bull and smaller outfits like Alfa Romeo, Haas and Williams. For now, though, driver salaries are excluded from the cap calculation, giving team owners one prominent area where they can continue to splash their cash. Clearly that is a big differentiator today, that big teams can just offer much bigger salaries to drivers, Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff told Forbes at the US Grand Prix last month. He noted that the idea of a salary cap had been floated within the sport, but any such change would need to be part of a new Concord Agreement, the series' governing contract, meaning for the 2026 season at the earliest, if ever. In the meantime, the existing cost cap could also have indirect effects on drivers' earnings. Open-wheel racing will always be part man and part machine, but if the budget rules bunch up the F1 pack, that balance could shift.